number 40 of our study on evil. And we pick up a new topic this, this time. Number 14, repentance. You got to get all 30, 90 of these and listen to them all about the study of evil. Repentance is not talked or preached about in the modern church today. It is a must for salvation. It is mandatory for a man to escape the judgment and wrath of God. And the wrath of God is hell. Repentance is owing up to your sin and turning and forsaking it to a battle daily as needed. I mean, there's some repentance or a sin that we do. All right. We got over it. There's some sins that we do. It's daily, weekly, monthly. And then there's another repentance of sins that, all right, we confessed it. And we got it right with God and God forgiven us. God cleansed us. What about the other party? Now, no, uh, there's several topics under repentance the couple weeks. Jeremiah 18, 8. If a nation, if that nation, it would be Judah, against whom I pronounce, turn from their evil. Turn from their evil. That's the repentance. I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. Now, here is God. And God has told Judah, listen, armies are coming. Destruction, fire, devastation, death. And there is hope, even the wrath of judgment of, of the nation. God told Jonah to go in Nineveh and say, listen, you know what? Put the judgment upon him. God is angry. And Nineveh repented from the king all the way down to the animals. And God repented himself. And what God did, God didn't sin. But God said, you know what? No judgment. Or no judgment for now. And with Judah, through Jeremiah, God's like, listen, if you guys will just get right, everything that I've said in 18 chapters, come on, just get right. Repent. Get right. Repentance and obeying the word of God is a must. And we know in Jeremiah that the axe, the Babylonian army comes and Jerusalem and, and the temple and Judah is destroyed. And Babylon did a great job destroying it. Why did, did Babylon do such a great job? Because Judah did not repent. They did not change. They kept on what they're doing. And one point in the, in the book of uh, Jeremiah, well, since we left off serving the queen of heaven, this is why all, no, wrong God. So a nation that repents and gets right with God. Is that going to happen in America? No, not reading what Paul wrote to Timothy or to Titus about the church. Not what the book of Revelation says about the lads that see in church. Eh? Because in order to get a nation to get right, the Christian has to get right. And the Christian is not going to get right. Listen, I've got Christians who are angry, insulted, and offended when I preach the truth. Stated, factual, true. And they get angry with me. That kind of attitude, and that happens all, all, not just people who know me and people I know, that happens all over. That's not the attitude that to get right and have a nation get right and the churches get right. Being offended at the truth. Jeremiah 25, 5. So that evil in 20 in 18a is the nation repents and gets right with God. Jeremiah 25, 5. They said, Turn ye again now, everyone from his from his from his evil way. 
for the evil of your doing and dwell in the land that the Lord has given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. Israel, if they will repent, if Judah will repent and turn ye, they will get their land. The statement is only for the nation of Israel alone, Judah. The children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And what God wants in Jeremiah 25, 5, he wants Israel to repent. Is that going to happen today as a nation? No. As individuals? Yes. I know plenty of Jewish Christians that are saved. The, the Jacob's trouble, the, tri the, the tribulation period is for the, the, the disobedience and the rejection and the rebellion of Israel. And then at the end of the seven years of the tribulation period, at the three and a half years of the last part of the great tribulation, when Jesus Christ comes, Israel's going to, oh, man, we are sorry, we, we want you. God wants Israel to repent. God is not all through with Israel. Jeremiah 26, 3. If so be, they will hearken. If they will listen, they will obey. And turn every man from his evil way. Your sins, your wickedness, your iniquity. That I may repent me of the evil. Judgment, destruction, army, death, fire, Babylonian army, which purpose to do unto them because they're evil in their doings. When men will repent of their evil to God and repent of the evil that he, he will repent of the evil he has prepared for them. Here is evil as a sin and the consequence of sin. Let's say, for instance, with COVID-19, let's say everybody get, gets right. They're not going to. Then God would say, all right, here's your cure for COVID-19 and let it rest. You say, you believe that? I believe that. I believe COVID-19 is the judgment of God. Trying to get people right, but they're not getting right. And the repentance goes on, on two halves. As far as the sinner in his evil and wicked ways, repent and turn from that sin and re and give up on that sin, confess that sin, and fight that sin to death or victory. God, who is holy and righteous without sin, his evil that he will repent is if you will get right, if you will do right, and if you will turn from your sin. All the judgments, all the chaos, all the evil, the, the uh, uh, consequence, I won't do it. Or I'll lighten lesson. And evil is repenting from evil and God withholding evil. Repenting from sin, the sinner, God withholding the evil, the, conscious, the, the consequence from a God who doesn't sin. Jeremiah 26, 13. Therefore now amend your ways and your doings. Get it right. And obey the voice of the Lord your God. Obedience to God. And the Lord will repent, repent him the evil that he has pronounced against you. Now again, the evil has been looking at consequences. God never sinned. That's what we've learned about the study of evil. There is an evil of sin. There is an evil of sin and consequence. And there is an evil without sin, but the consequence of sin. 
Okay, let me, I said, you got to get all 39, now 40 of these lessons. I'll give you evil as a sin and a consequence. You smoke cigarettes, that's an evil, that's a sin. And you get lung cancer. Lung cancer is a consequence of you sinning against God by smoking tobacco products. Okay, now I'll give you an evil where the person didn't sin. There's a family, a mother and children. And the evil and the consequence of that is they're poor, they're beaten, they're abused, their life is in a havoc because the father drinks alcohol and a heavy drinker. All right, now the father is sinning. But evil consequences upon the wife and the children. And the, <coughs> excuse me. And the wife and children didn't, I mean, all have sinned, but they didn't sin with the alcohol. And that's the fascinating interest that I've gotten into to study why we've done evil. And again, just to go back real quick, why I why I did this study is based on a few pieces of scripture. This is why I did the study, Job 2.10. But he said unto her, thou speakest as the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we not receive the good at the hand of God? And shall we not receive evil? Consequence of God. Never God sinning. All this Job sinned not with his lips. Isaiah 45, 7, I form light, God, I create darkness, God, I make peace, God, I create uh, and create evil. That's God. God never sins. You obey God and do right, you're going to get peace. You sin against God, you're going to get evil. Consequence of sin. I, the Lord, do all these things. Then Lamentations 3, 38, out of the mouth of the Most High, God, Proceeds not evil and good. Well, what's what would be the evil that proceeds out of the mouth of God? Get a, give a, a worldwide disease such as COVID-19. No. Amend is to make right, do right, get right. And the repenting of God is not a sin again. God is holy and never sins. Can God not do anything? God cannot sin. God cannot remember my sins under the blood of Jesus Christ. God cannot lie. And thus, no need for repentance of sin. Repentance is a change of heart. It's a turnaround. Down here in Florida, we could do Legally, unless it's marked otherwise, we can make legal U-turns down here in Florida. Well, that's kind of a repentant. We're going down the road the wrong way. You know what? I'm going to get right. I'm going to make a U-turn. I'm going to go the right way. That's repentance. Stop what you're doing and do something else. And this is not taught in your modern churches today. For man is forsaking sin, and for God is, forget, is forsaking the judgment upon the sin of man and not God. Lastly, Jeremiah 36, 3 for today's study. It may be that the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I pur purpose to do unto it. Now, what is the evil? What is some of the evil? The Babylonians are going to come. They're going to burn the walls. They're going to have. They're going to put breaches and destroy the wall. They're going to tear the, the temple down. The, the women are going to be ravished. Going, the nation's going to be spoiled. Men are going to be killed. You're going to starve to death. You, you, you're not going to. Have, the land's going to be infiltrated. There's not going to be any wine. There's not going to be any food. There's not going to be any water. It's just total chaos of military troubles, problems, anguish, just suffering. Because you won't listen to God. Well, 
which I purpose to do unto them, that they may return every man from his evil way. There is repentance of the sinner. That I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Now, God does not forgive iniquity and sin unless you confess and repent. Don't walk up. I mean, don't. Uh, what can I, I, I'll take my own life. I light up a cigarette. I used to smoke. Oh, Lord God, I'm sorry for smoking. Lord, I know it's been. And then I take another cigarette and I light it. That's not repentance. Repentance is not. All right, I, I'm involved. I'm watching porno movies. Not me. But I'm just saying you're watching porno movies, and you take the movies back to the to the video place. Shows how old I am. And you rent out more porno. That's not repenting. Repenting is and one aspect of repenting for many people is when they get saved, they get rid of their old records and albums and the rock music or whatever music they listen to. And they get a big bonfire. And they burn their old records and cassette tapes and CDs. I had that in my life. I foolishly took my, rec my rock and roll albums. I gave them away to a... a a yard sale. I should just burn them. I, I didn't know any better. No one told me. But there was a later on. I had in my life. There was things that I burned in a fire. That's repentance. Now the only way for me to go back to that sin is go back to the store and get that cassette tape or get the CD. But I wasn't going to. So when you hear the word of God being preached. And you turn from your sins. Because if you don't, God will pass a judgment upon you. God will chasten his children. God will cause distress in your life. God may even kill you. Those are serious judgments, serious activities, serious evils that can happen in our life. I mean, if you mistreat your wife and, and and your family and you abuse your wife and family, don't go crying when you come home one day and there's a note on the door, we're gone. And then you get papers from, from a divorce. And don't, don't be crying. That divorce was an evil of what you sinned against your family. Your wife walking out because of your sins, because of your rebellion, because of your abuse. Well, that's an evil upon you. Now, if you get re now, if you repent and get right with your wife and, and make things right and show, hey, you know what, you you. you, you you're working to it. You're trying to do right. You may fail sometimes, but you know that there's an effort put into that. You are trying and you are sincere. I'm uh, not going to get the divorce. We'll work this out. You know? So we want, here's the preaching and repentance follows. Sin causes judgment. You say, well, what about things that happened to people that they didn't have anything to do with? You, you know, what about 9-11, all the people that died in, in those airplanes and those towers? That's sin. But what sin they do? They were born in sin from Adam. And I'll tell you, everybody in the 9-11 who died in the airplane and died in the tower, they were involved in some way, some other, a sin. They either have lied in their life, that's a sin. They've even taken something without permission, that's a sin. 
They had somehow dishonored their parents at one time. They had looked upon a woman to lust after his heart. That's adultery. They have had thoughts of, of hatred. They had thoughts of murder. They all have sinned. Now, the, 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 terror, the terrorist acts of Islam upon the World Trade Towers and those, those, those airplanes on 9-11 was an evil that people did not sin. But it was an evil because people are sinners. It was an evil of religion. And the doctrines of the devil shed blood and, and Allah will love you. Well, that's religion because Jesus Christ shed his blood. God gave his blood for, for salvation. Never does God tell you in the church to go shed blood. People will suffer evil because of sinners. And people will suffer evil because they are the sinner. And when God brings the evil and the, and the consequence upon the sinner and, and sins, it is never the sin of God that he's brought to evil. And God wants us to turn from our sins, to repent of our sins and get things right with him. And God, hey, if you get right and you do right, and you repent, I will repent, not because God is a sinner, but I will turn from what judgment I was going to bring upon you. I mean, there may have been times, we don't know, there may be times that, you know what, you're going to be in a car accident today, and it's just going to mess up your whole, I see you've got right. There was a king, that Isaiah, I forget his name, and Isaiah said, tell him, he says, listen, you know what? Tell that man set his house in order. He's going to die. That man went on his bed, turned to the wall, and wept and pleaded before God. And Isaiah is not even out of the housing. And God said to Isaiah, turn around and tell him. I think he's 15 years, I think it was. That's that. Sinning and consequence is a serious thing. And the study of evil, what you're doing, is a serious thing. You've got to get the two right. Because my God never sins. But I'm a sinner. Don't let anybody ever hear. Stanley Hayward said he, he's, he's, he's all right and he's never. I, I'm a sinner. As far as I know, one particular sin I hadn't had today. Uh, yeah, I did, matter of fact. Yep. See? I mean, I've given up smoking, thank the Lord, but I got still sinners. I gave up alcohol, thank the Lord. I still sin. I've given up the rock music, thank the Lord. I've given up the drugs, thank the Lord. But I'm still sin in other areas. I've got the victory. Sin is the destruction of a man's life. Repentance and getting right with God is the victory in our life. 